peace and welcome back to new black knowledge this is logic again with another video in the logic vision series today we're going to also talk about another nba player who turned entrepreneur and started owning businesses his name is ulysses lee bridgman aka junior bridgman as an nba player junior bridgman had a moderately successful 12-year career playing for the milwaukee bucks and los angeles clippers Ulysses Lee Jr. Bridgman was born on September 17, 1953 in East Chicago, Indiana. His father was a blue-collar steel mill worker, a very common job in East Chicago during the era in which Jr. grew up. He was a member of the undefeated 29-0-1971 East Chicago Washington High School Senators basketball team that won the Indiana State High School Basketball Championship. At 6'5", Bridgman played guard and forward during college at the University of Louisville, where he was also a member of the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. After obtaining his bachelor's degree, he was drafted as the eighth overall pick in the first round of the 1975 NBA draft by the Los Angeles Lakers, and as mentioned, was then immediately traded to the Milwaukee Bucks for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. In his 12-year NBA career, 10 with Milwaukee, two with the Clippers, Bridgman was mostly a six-man. For nine consecutive seasons, he averaged double figures in scoring. He holds the Milwaukee franchise record for the number of games played at 711, though he only started in 105 of those games. Bridgman was a good basketball player, solid and steady. His professional career lasted from 1975 to 1987, in the era just before players were paid crazy amounts of money. Players like Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson made the bulk of their money from endorsement deals and still made a lot of money in the NBA, close to $100 million for Jordan. Bridgman never saw anywhere close to that kind of money during his NBA days. His peak salary was $350,000 from the Clippers in 1985. Unlike most athletes, Junior was quick to realize that his window of time in the NBA would be relatively short. At some point, the paychecks would stop coming in and he would need to find a new source of steady income. So on a whim, Junior decided to purchase a franchise of his favorite fast food restaurant, Wendy's. While other NBA players hung out during the offseason, Bridgman was working at local Wendy's, learning his burgeoning business from every angle and building a foundation for the rest of his and his family's lives. By the time his playing days were over, Junior owned three Wendy's. Over the next few years, Junior slowly expanded Bridgman Foods, Inc. Three locations grew to six, six grew to 10, 10 grew to 20, and so on. Business boomed thanks largely to Junior's highly dedicated work ethic. Instead of sitting back and collecting checks from a beach in the Bahamas, Junior was frequently seen behind the counters working at his own restaurants. After nearly 25 years in business, Bridgman Foods, Inc. operates more than 160 Wendy's and more than 120 Chili's franchises. Bridgman employs over 11,000 people and has annual revenues in excess of $530 million. Possibly looking to follow Junior's lead, current NBA player Chauncey Billups recently invested money into some Wendy's franchises. Junior is the second largest Wendy's franchise owner in the world and frequently listed as one of the most admired business leaders in America. His personal net worth tops $600 million. When not running his fast food empire, Junior Bridgman likes to play golf and in fact is on the board of directors of the PGA. He has been married to his wife Doris for more than 35 years. The couple has three adult children who all have MBAs and work in the family business. Junior Bridgman is a private man who has built a heck of a fortune, family and life. He recognized the problem and turned it into an opportunity. Thanks to a lot of hard work, the opportunity made him an extremely wealthy and admired man.